In the previous demonstration, we looked at incorporating sympathetic magical processes with spirit work. And in particular, we looked at using a honey jar um, in the context of uh, Solomonic spirit work and in the context of this form of Solomonic candle magic that I've been sharing so far. And, and in this uh, installment, we are going to go a little bit further. We're going to extrapolate or expand on the ideas that I shared with you in that video. And we are going to use the same planet, we're going to use the same pentacle, the same spirit, and we are going to uh, incorporate wax image magic into the spell. We will be using a, a beeswax heart that was fashioned in the hour of Venus, uh, along with four dressmakers pins. Now, why a heart? Um, well, if you look closely at the first, uh, sorry, the fifth pentacle of Venus, the, the pentacle that we used in the previous spell, in the honey jar spell, and the pentacle that we will be using in this spell, you will notice that the uh, psalm inscribed around the perimeter of that pentacle reads, My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels, right? So obviously the intention with the use of that psalm was to um, equate the target's heart with uh, that of melting wax and so on. So it's pretty a natural extension to then make a wax heart and to use it in this way. So that's the first thing that you will need to do to perform the spell um, is to find yourself some beeswax um, say the consecration of the wax from the greater key over that beeswax. In the hour of Venus, when the moon is waxing, you will fashion a wax heart. And into that heart, I suggest you add some Venusian herbs. You could add, for example, some rose, as I've done in this case. Um, you could add some myrtle, you could add some red clover, or some other kinds of Venusian herbs. And then, of course, it is a good idea to include um, the target's personal concerns into this. So if you've got any hair, uh, fingernails, a small an item of clothing, some handwriting, whatever the case may be, you could uh, incorporate that into the making of the um, wax heart. Then, when you've finished um, modeling the heart, it's not, not too difficult to do well, it, this one came out pretty nicely, um, you will light some myrrh incense or some other um, Venusian incense and you will also fumigate it with that incense and then you will wrap it up in some green or white cloth and so that it is ready to use in the spell, right? And then of course the rest of the spell you would set up pretty much the same with the exception of the honey jar so you'll have five green candles, you will have some myrrh incense, you'll have your Venus oil, or your Archangel of Anil oil, your uh, um, Archangel oil, you will have your fifth pentacle of Venus, um, which was printed also in the Hour of Venus or drawn in the Hour of Venus, you'll have done your petition on the back, and you will have um, drawn the, uh, the first pentacle of Venus on the Tablet of Lights, um, also during the hour of Venus and you will have done all the preparatory consecrations beforehand, the preliminary consecrations as I showed you in the previous video. Then it, you will also need a china bowl or a, a white bowl or a plain unmarked bowl and I will show you what that's for in a bit. You will find that incorporating um, sympathetic magical processes into um, spirit work is extremely potent. It, it directs the spirits to perform the activities um, that you are enacting within the context of this spell as we will be going into in a bit and, and it will direct them in a very potent way and in particular we will be using a verbal formula that I actually drew from another grimoire, the Grimoireum Verum. Now that's also a Solomonic, a Solomonic grimoire uh, within the same genre and it wasn't unusual for Renaissance magicians and magicians of the Middle Ages to take parts of one grimoire and um, fuse them with another grimoire in a sort of a, a mix and match style with the liturgies, right? So that's what I've done here. I've taken that particular verbal formula and I'm incorporating it into this work to direct the, um, the spirits of Venus in the latter half of this spell. Now, of course, wax image magic or image magic in general, but specifically the use of wax images, was very prevalent within the Renaissance period, in the medieval period, and, and, and uh, across the whole um, uh, history of Solomonic magic, really. And um, the use of wax images figure very, very greatly into the practice 
And, sim and similarly in Hoodoo we see the use of wax dollies often and other kinds of image magic. So there is another um, dovetailing there that is very nice and for the simple fact that most cultures used um, image magic and certainly wax, uh, making wax figures uh, is a very accessible and a practical form of um, sympathetic magic. So assuming you've prepared everything as before, you've lit, the ins you've lit the charcoal disc and you've done all the preliminary consecrations, you would be now ready to perform the spell. And you would do it in exactly the same format as before. You would um, uh, say the general invocation, the general, the opening prayer. You would put some myrrh on the charcoal disc, uh, invoking the holy name that rules the sphere of Venus. And then once the, the atmosphere have been, has been attuned to the sphere of Venus, you would light the uh, master candle, this green taper at the, uh, at the front here, uh, in the name and in the honor of the archangel Anael, right? And then you would proceed to write, uh, light the four candles on the pentacle, um, each candle, of course, being representative of these four spirits written around the perimeter of the pentacle and you would do so in the name and in the authority of the archangel. Then once you have um, in invoked these the Venusian angels uh, on the tablet of light you again would add some Venus incense to the to the censer and offer that smoke that incense that perfume to them um, as an offering to the spirits and a thanks to the spirits for their uh, uh, attunement and their power in the rite. Then you are ready to proceed with the the spell. So having invoked the spirits with the candles and with the incense, you would take the fifth pentacle of Venus. You would pass through the incense once more and then place it in the center of the pentacle like so. You would take the heart of your target as you can see, pass that through the incense, place it on the fifth pentacle of Venus and you will have your, your four pins and you will work with them in the following way using the verbal formula I just mentioned. You'll take the first pin and you will heat it in the flame and this would be Nogahiel's candle and once that tip has been heated you will stab it into the heart and as you do so you say not my hand but the hand of Nogahiel not a pin that pierces the heart of such and such but the arrows of love Take the second pin, you heat that in the bottom, the candle at the bottom. Again, you pierce the heart and you say, Not my hand, but the hand of Sokodaya. Not a pin that pierces the heart of such and such, but the arrows of love. Hit it in the next one. Not my hand, but the hand of Nangariel. Not a pin that pierces the heart of such and such, but the arrows of love. Hitting the final candle. Not my hand, but the hand of Achilaya. Not a pin that pierces the heart of such and such, but the arrows of love. And you take the heart once more. You will add some more myrrh to the burner. And as the smoke rises, take both the fifth pentacle and the heart, pass it through the smoke and place it back at the center of the candle like so. So then you will take the china bowl, turn it upside down, place it over the heart and take the green archangel candle and set that atop the bowl and let the whole spell burn down, let all the candles burn down, right? And then once the candles have burned down, you will return back to the tablet of light, you will say a brief dismissal of spirits and then you will take the ball away and then there are a couple of ways that you can work with the heart, right? Um, so the first thing that comes to mind is take, to take this heart that has now been pierced by the arrows of love represented by the pins and to put it in a bag and to go bury it somewhere near your target, the person whom you intend to influence. And of course, if you can bury it somewhere where they will walk over it all the better. But um, if you can just get somewhere close to them, close enough to hide it near them or bury it near them without getting into trouble, um, then that would be good too, right? Then another alternative, of course, would be to keep the bag, yeah? Add to it uh, more Venusian herbs 
um, and work it like a mojo bag. And, and that would work in a talismanic way to bring the person to you. And then lastly, um, an, another good option is to keep the heart as it is with a seal. And then if your target, if you're going to see your target and speak to them, or there's going to be an opportunity, um, then you would um, light a green candle, um, dress it with Venus oil, you would invoke the, the, the uh, Archangel Venus Anil again, and then you would take the wax heart and you would heat it slightly on the candle so that it, it starts to get warm and melt. And then you repeat the psalm that is written around the pentacle. And that is, my heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. And of course, the idea being there that not only will your target be pierced by the arrows of love, right, but his heart will warm and become softer to you. And of course, you can combine this with the honey jar spell. And in fact, in the PDF, that the, the digital download that I have that goes along with that spell, um, uh, I've incorporated this, uh, working with this wax heart into that spell in, in a clever way. So you can do that also. You can combine these two forms of sympathetic magic into one whole. And you will notice, and if you, once you start looking at the Psalms inscribed around the pentacles, um, you will start to find all sorts of interesting ways of extrapolating similar sympathetic spells, spells that either require um, um, the use of images, manipulating wax images in some way, or some other sympathetic, sympathetic process might be um, might be inspired from reading the Psalms and naturally you are free to to look at any of the Psalms not just those inscri uh, inscribed on the Pentacles and adapt any Psalm in this way if there is some resonant image in a Psalm that is amenable to uh, turning into some sort of sympathetic process that you can manipulate uh, whilst working with the spirits and enacting it as we did here you'll notice I was I was miming my intention as if I was a spirit by that formula and that's the beauty of that formula it's extremely potent uh, um, formula not my hand but the hand of Nangariel not a pin that pierces the heart of the, such and such but the arrows of love right so by doing that I'm I'm miming the spirit what I want the spirit to do in the spell and of course you can do that with any of the spirits and with any of the psalms right and um, that, that formula is very flexible if you if you want to know more about that I in fact I wrote a fairly in-depth essay on my hoodoo work with the grimoireum verum from which that is um, drawn and that's published by Hadian Press. I'll link it down below. You might want to check out that essay. It's really it deals a lot more with that grimoire if that grimoire is interesting to you. And I hope you found this idea useful in your own work. Um, please leave a comment to let me know your thoughts. Um, remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.